Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to multiply in scientific notation. As you can see, there are three important things that we need to remember when, when multiplying in scientific notation. The first is that numbers in scientific notation have a coefficient, a base, and an exponent. Just to give you an example of this, if I were to write the number 4,000 in scientific notation, it would look like this, which says four times 10 to the third power. The coefficient is the number four. The base will always be 10. We're always gonna use a base of 10, and the exponent is the exponent on our base of 10. So you will always have a coefficient times a base of 10 with an exponent. When multiplying, you multiply the coefficients and you add the exponents. You will take the coefficients out in front and you'll multiply them together, and then the exponents in the two numbers will get added. Adding the exponents is the same rule as the product rule for exponential term. For example, if I had x to the seventh times x to the second power, you would keep the base the same of x and you would add the exponents together. You would do seven plus two and you would get x equals nine. So that rule is the same for multiplying in scientific notation, except the base is always 10 and the exponents will still get added together. After you do that, you check to make sure your answer is written in correct scientific notation. And what that means is you need to look at the coefficient and you have to to make sure the coefficient is in between the numbers 1 and 10 because that is the correct way to write scientific notation. If it's less than 1 or greater than 10, you have to move the decimal point and change the exponent in order to make it into correct scientific notation. And then once it's in correct scientific notation, that's going to be your answer. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem on multiplying in scientific notation. This problem gives us 4 times 10 to the 3rd times 2 times 10 to the 6th. Now we know when we multiply in scientific notation, you're going to multiply the coefficients and you're going to add the exponent. Now the coefficients in this case are going to be 4 and 2. We're going to multiply those two together because we're multiplying. We're going to say 4 times 2 is going to be multiplied times 10. We keep our base of 10, and then the exponents are going to get added together. So we're going to add 3 plus 6. Now we can go ahead and simplify. 4 times 2 is 8 times our base of 10, 8 times 10, and then you add the exponents. 3 plus 6 is 9. And then finally, we check to make sure our coefficient is in between 1 and 10, and it is. I know that 4 times 10 to the 3rd times 2 times 10 to the 6th is going to be 8 times 10 to the 9th written in scientific notation because I multiplied the coefficients and then I added the exponent. Moving on to our next practice problem, this problem gives us 3 times 10 to the 5th, multiplied times 8 times 10 to the second. So again, we're going to multiply the coefficients, 3 times 8 to start. We keep our base of 10, so we're going to keep times 10 to the power of 5 plus 2, and then we add the exponent. So we're going to simplify by doing 3 times 8, and that's 24, times 10 to the 5 plus 2 power, which is 7. Now our answer is 24 times 10 to the 7th power. But 24 is greater than 10. So you cannot use 24. You have to move the decimal to make it a number in between 1 and 10. So currently the decimal is right here. You have to move it to the left one time. So we move it to the left. You make it 2.4. And because this decimal moves to the left one time, you have to add 1 to the exponent. So our exponent is going to change to 10 to the 8th power. And the reason we added 1 is because we had to compensate for moving this decimal. And the power of 10 moves the decimal based on the exponent. If we move the decimal one time, we have to compensate by adding 1 to the exponent on the power of 10. And now that our coefficient is 2.4, which means it's in between 1 and 10, I know that our solution will be 2.4 times 10 to the 8th power. Moving on to our final practice problem, this problem gives us 6 times 10 to the 1st times 4 times 10 to the 9th. So again, when you multiply in scientific notation, the first thing you have to do is multiply the coefficients. So we're going to do 6 times 4. Then we're going to keep our base of 10. So we're going to say times 10. 
and then our exponents get added together because we're multiplying. So we'll say 1 plus 9. So to simplify, we're going to multiply 6 times 4, and we get 24, times 10, we keep our base of 10, and then we're going to add our exponents. 1 plus 9 is 10. Right now, we have 24 times 10 to the 10th power. We have to change this into the correct scientific notation because 24 is greater than 10. So right now our decimal point's right here behind the 4. We have to move it to the left one time to make it 2.4. And then we have to add 1 to the exponent to compensate for moving the decimal. So now we have 2.4 times 10 to the 11th power because 10 plus 1 is 11. So our solution to this multiplying and scientific notation problem is 2.4 times 10 to the 11th power. And I got this because I multiplied the coefficients and then I added the exponent. And if you want to do some more practice on multiplying and scientific notation, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to get taken to a free worksheet download and a free interactive quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!